Hey everyone, Andrew here, filling you in with some of our tips for playing as the Goliath in Evolve. Prior to spawning as Goliath, you will need to choose what abilities you want to put your first three points in. For me, I like putting one point into my Leap Smash, Rock Throw, and Charge, as it will grant me with the best utility and mobility, which are important to utilize early. Upon spawning, regardless of the map, I start by distancing myself as the Goliath from the enemy Hunters, as you are at your weakest at the start of the match. Getting distance between you and the Hunters early will allow you to start feeding on some of the smaller game that lurks in the wilderness. But be wary of some of the larger creatures early on, as they are beatable but could cost you valuable time and health. Using your sense ability often will spot nearby hunters and wildlife to stay safe and plan your next moves. While doing so, be aware of packs of birds while you traverse the map. Disturbing them can alert enemy hunters about your position. If you happen to run into some, attempt to take them out as they take off with some attacks so your position is not given away. Once you have fed enough to reach your first evolution, I recommend putting one point into Fire Breath to have all of your abilities at your disposal, then put your remaining points into Leap Smash and Charge, as you'll want to max these out first. After you have evolved into Stage 2, engagements with enemy hunters are hard fought and can go either way depending on enemies' communication and your focus while engaging as the Goliath. If you are in combat with the hunters during this stage, make sure you keep an eye out on Daisy, the Trapper class's trap job. This dog-like pet will revive down hunters, bringing them back into battle, making it harder for you to survive. Either finish him off or the down hunters to prevent their return. At this stage, I prefer to avoid long conflicts and continue feeding on anything so I can evolve into Stage 3 Goliath. Once I reach Stage 3, I finish maxing Leap Smash and Charge, and then put your last point into an ability of your choosing. During the final stage, enemy hunters typically begin to position themselves around their power relay to protect it. If they have set up a defensive stance, be sure to feed more before the fight, as the extra nourishment will grant you a shield. Be cautious though. Feeding to beef up your shield will also cause you to glow brightly, letting hunters spot you more easily. On the contrary, a weakened and damaged Goliath blends into the night better and can aid in your escape to fight again. Taking down your enemies can be done in a number of different ways. Sneaking around as the Goliath is almost silent and leaves no footmarks. It is slow but can be helpful for sneaking up on your enemies. Charging into battle is another way of engaging. It can do a massive amount of damage and separate your opponents, resulting in quick kills. While fighting, it is important to keep an eye on the hunter's medic. The medic can dictate the battle against you with tranquilizers and armor-piercing rounds, creating opportunities for their teammates to deal large quantities of damage to you. They also have the ability to feed other players health, helping them outlive you in extended fights. Be sure to try out Evolve's Alpha Test this weekend by signing up with Curse Voice, Happy hunting and enjoy the game.